Hello everybody. Today is going to be the newest version of the egg white bread because you know we can't ever just leave it alone. We have to keep messing with it. So this one is going to be my cumulus loaves in just a minute. With every star, we are born again. Open your heart. To start, add one cup of egg white powder or egg white protein powder, same thing, two tablespoons of allulose, two tablespoons nutritional yeast, one teaspoon cream of tartar, one quarter teaspoon salt, and one quarter teaspoon quick rise yeast. I do not bloom my yeast because the quick rise is already essentially bloomed. To that, add one and a quarter cups of water. Stir to combine, put into your mixer, turn on high, and beat until stiff peaks form. You have several options. You can line a loaf pan with parchment paper as you see here. I have discovered you do not need to spray the parchment paper. You could also make little rolls like the Hawaiian sweet rolls. Or my new favorite thing is to make sub sandwiches. Spray is optional. Once your whites are fully whipped, Put the speed down to slow and then carefully put in one third cup whole egg powder. I turned on the whisk to full speed for no more than one to two seconds to try to clear the fluff out of the whisk. Do not whip this on high once you've added the whole egg powder. Then portion out the fluff into your pan or onto your baking sheet or into your loaf pan, whichever you've chosen to do. Place into a 325 degree oven for 20 minutes. When there's about five minutes left, brush on three tablespoons of melted butter and then close the oven and let it finish baking. Unfortunately, apparently I accidentally hit the stop button, so I missed all of that, but that's what I did. Alrighty, here is the loaf, the, the Sub sandwich, sorry, sub sandwich. As you can see, it, it didn't really fall at all. I'm gonna cut this in half for you. You can see inside of it. It's nice and squishy. I don't like to make it, you, you could pile it up on top so that it made these a lot bigger like the original Subway sandwiches. I don't actually care for that much bread, so I hold it carefully, cut it. Don't cut yourself, please. Um, I don't actually want a ton of bread. So that is more than enough on either side for me. Even though, yes, it is protein, it's still more bulk. I'll go ahead and I'll make a sandwich and I'll show you the sandwich in the bloopers so you'll be able to see that, uh, some ideas. I am planning on next week or the week after that showing you guys an amazing Philly cheesesteak that you can make with these. It was so good and very easy because we did it in the pressure cooker, but the combination of ingredients was just incredible. So this has, this made five of these big old long sub sandwiches that will make 10 of the shorter, I guess, six inches for lack of a better way to describe it. And then I also have the bread that I made yesterday, same recipe. So you have your choice. You can turn it into a loaf. You can turn it into buns. You can turn it into these sub sandwiches, whatever you want to do with it. It falls so much less, if at all, when you use the water versus the liquid egg whites. 
So here, so you can see it fell just a teeny tiny bit, but part of that was just because it was laying over the top. It's nice and soft and squishy. It does not have a ton of flavor, but that, that is what it looks like in the bread form. It's got a nice soft crust up on the top. The bottom crust is still a little bit harder, but if you make a sandwich out of it or you do anything else with it, it's really fantastic. So we've started doing this. I tried to avoid it for a long time because egg white powder is more expensive than the liquid egg whites. The liquid egg whites are what is causing everything to fall. So I eventually just kind of gave up and came over to the dark side. Uh, Indigo Neely is doing a lot of recipes, uh, a lot of different options with hers, and she's adding things like acacia flour or acacia fiber, whatever, I'm not even sure what it's called. She does the butter powder, there's um, all kinds of other options that you can put into this. I saw some people down below in her comments talking about um, oat fiber. If you want to experiment with adding any of those things in there, you absolutely can. I'm trying to keep the recipe as simple as possible. So this is kind of a base, like nothing added. There's no xanthan gum. Uh, she uses gelatin in hers. I didn't even touch the gelatin. I just am trying to keep it as simple as possible with as few ingredients as possible and still getting a really good result. So if you wanna add something to this and play around with it, try the butter powder instead of the whole egg powder, then go ahead and try it and let me know what you think about it. Play around with it, make it your own, see what you like the best. Uh, that's honestly what all of us are doing right now is we're just playing around with everything to see what we like the best. I have thought about doing my Hawaiian sweet rolls with the water instead of the egg whites. I just haven't tried it yet. So that's honestly one of the next steps to do because that may take away all of the falling or most of the falling that people are having a problem with with the Hawaiian sweet rolls. So I, I figure it's worth a try, right? Anyways, I, I thought I would just whip these up for you guys real quick and that you would enjoy that. I will link down below the pan, the silicone mold <laughs> that I use. It's all soft and squishy. You can make your own sub sandwiches, but I got tired of forming them and they always spread out too big for me and then it was really too big. So I went ahead and I bought this uh, on Amazon. So I'll have that link down below just in case you're interested in getting that. I first invented this, was playing around with this recipe and did it as little rolls and they were so light and airy that I was gonna call them cloud rolls. Well, that's too close to the cloud bread that kind of started all of this stuff a million years ago from Atkins. So I was talking to Verinia and I said, no, I gotta find something else. So she, she comes up to me and she goes, how about cumulus rolls? <laughs> and I literally laughed out loud. I almost shot water out of my nose. And I told her, I said, I don't think I could love that more. <laughs> So that's where the name came from for these. These are cumulus loaves, cumulus subs, cumulus bread rolls. I don't care. I just thought it was really fun because it's they're they're very light and very soft. Uh, they don't have a ton of flavor, but they hold up very well. So they make a fantastic vehicle for getting food into your face. Anyways, that's about it. For today guys i hope that you enjoyed this video i hope that it's easy to follow along with as well please do all of the things check down below for any links that you may be interested in and we will see you guys on the way bye so that what's got a hole in it he says hello um sorry so anybody want some bread Josie, you need to make a sandwich? I made all the, the loaves. Maybe. 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 I just, I was never a fan. You can't stop dying. You can do it and you can live. What? As Not I die. Yeah. As I stab myself with a butter knife. Stab it. Mistake made. Okay. You have been stabbed. At least it wasn't bleeding. I'm glad you're not bleeding. Unless you count jelly as bleeding. Sad times, you know. Alright. There's my sandwich. My sandwich is nice. Put lettuce in it.
Yeah, Josie's sandwich is messy. Messy and sad because of the mistake we made. Messy and sad. <laughs> but it's so good. I don't know if you can hear. Bella is watching the old movie, The Jetsons. Do you remember that old movie? Oh, really? That's what she's watching, The Jetsons. Yeah, she really is. Okay. My sandwich smells like peanut butter and jelly now. I got some <laughs> of my fingers. I told you it was messy. Regrets. <laughs>